Hmm? Isn't that... What do I do now? How'd I end up back here? That's that courier I gave directions to. Is he actually lost again? What's up guys, I'm Vocal Strike, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Like a Dragon Ishin. Last time we did some sub-stories, and this time we're going to be continuing to do sub-stories. And I don't know if this was a bug or something, because if you recall correctly, last time he did not show up after I left, but now he has. So maybe it was just a time thing that or like maybe some type of glitch that game fixed itself with? I don't know. He lost again. But let's go ahead and see if we can help out the poor guy. And Ugh, I can't believe I'm lost again. Hey, what's going on? Oh, you're that kind samurai be from before. Were you able to find Fushimi Ichibangai? Ah, <sighs> no. No matter how far I walk, I go in circles and end up back yeah. here. How is that possible? It's literally right around the corner. The truth is, I've always been absolutely hopeless with directions. Hmm. Why did you become a courier then? Until now, I'd always worked with my father. He helped me out, but the other day, he collapsed. So now you're on your own. Yes, and to keep him from worrying while he recovers, I need to prove that I can do this myself. It's too embarrassing him to rely on him all this time. <laughs> I can understand that. Sounds like this might be a good chance for you to stand on your own two feet. Exactly. I'm sorry, but could you tell me more? Could you tell me one more time? The way to Fushimi Ichibangai. Yeah. First, head straight from here to Teradaya. Once you pass that, look to your right for a large shopping district. Sounds simple enough. I think I can do it this time. Thank you. Good luck. A courier who's terrible with directions. It's good that he's not giving up, I suppose. I hope he'll be alright. Okay, then we leave and come back. Yeah, and he should show up for a third time. And then after we get this one done, we're heading back to... Mikorugai. Because there is actually some sub-stories there. Ah, good old water. Okay, hopefully he's actually gonna be there this time. Is he? He is not. Huh. Well, I guess we should head over to Mikoru guy. And I was told that there was supposed to be a guy in front of the by the dojo that's supposed to take you there. Is this it? Is it? Hmm. What should I do? That woman. Is she planning on taking to take the ferry? What to do? To go or not to go? Excuse me, miss. If you're thinking of going to Mukurogai, don't. You know how dangerous that part of the city is. I do, but I'm just so tempted. Mind if I ask why? Well, there's something being sold there. A kind of scented water called perfume. Perfume? Never heard of it. It's a talk of the town among us women lately. Apparently, applying it to yourself will make men swoon over you. So, it's some sort of love potion? That's what they say. I've never been very popular with men, you see. I thought this might finally help. But this perfume. The only person who sells it is a black market dealer in Mukurogai. I see. That's why you wanted to go. Of course, I know it's risky, but for a prize like that, I thought I could muster the courage. Mukuro guy is no joke, especially for a woman alone. She really seems like she might go. 
Maybe I should buy this perfume thing for her. Why don't you let me go? Why don't you let me go to Mukurogai for you? To be honest, I'm curious about this love potion you speak of. Huh? You really do that? Sure. Leave it to me. Thank you. I only know that the merchant is somewhere in the district. I'm sorry I can't be more specific. Here, let me give you the money I'd saved up. Three Rio. That should cover it. Feel free to keep whatever's left. Thank you. Not at all. Thank you, sir. Uh... Scented water. Okay, so that triggered another sub-story, but for some reason I can't really see an enter Mukurogai. When the person is supposed to be around the dojo for what I've looked up. But let's also see if we can learn something new from Kamaki. Uh, three more battles, so that is a no. Hmm. Still not back. And with no way to Mukurogai, huh? What the hell? They're suppo I plan to do more sub stories, but I guess that's not in the cards. Unless. Do I. No. Well, let me try one more time. <laughs> like, see if, uh, actually, let's try going up to the room because that's when they started. Uh, that's when it started fixing itself. <laughs> I have to admit, the loading times are fairly long for the PS4 version. Unfortunately, I do not have a PS5. Okay, still not there, and not there. Okay, so I guess we're continuing the main story then. <laughs> Which is all the way up here. Oh yeah, the rest of the Place is opened up. Rakunai, Rakugai, Fishimi. Huh. Alrighty then. Well, phone is running low on battery, so m let's continue on with the main story for now. And let's deal with these guys. Uh. Oh yeah, we had something in the Wild Dancer style. Was that, was that Wild Dancer or was that Swordsman? That might have been Swordsman. That, nope. Triangle right before an enemy sword attacks. Yeah. 
Come on. There we go. Thank you very much. Hey, you hear about this yet? There's a swordsman in the north part of Rakunai named Ginryu. Hmm? Ginryu? Never heard of him. Apparently his sword plays downright mesmerizing. It's so beautiful. Wow, I'd love to see that sometime. A swordsman named Ginryu, huh? Maybe I'll try to find him in Rakunai. Okay, so Rakunai is... Up here. Okay, it must be talking about the Ginryu Dojo. What the fuck is this? You got a problem, guy? Yeah, you. I think it's time you learned how to behave in public. Oh, you think you're gonna teach me, huh? Just fucking try. Okay. Outlaws. Ah, more of these clowns. And dead. Let's go check out that dojo real quick, actually. Let's see if I recall correctly, the dojo. It's past the marker. Oh, do we have a sub story? Ah, you there, good samurai. Do you have a moment to spare? What is it? With all due respect, your katana appears to have seen better days. Without proper upkeep, even the finest blades were dull one. And I imagine a dull sword wouldn't do well for Shinsengumi work, wouldn't it? What? How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, there's really only two directions a samurai would be headed in Rakanai. There's Gion to the east, or the Shinsengumi to the west. And you don't strike me as the Gion type. Huh, <laughs> you're pretty good. 
If you leave your sword in our hands, we'll be sure to hone it to its true potential. I see. Well, I'll at least hear you out. Great. Now just this way, please. Okay, I'm guessing this is not a sub-story. Hmm. Never seen you around before. I heard you can temper swords here. Hey, don't underest don't be underestimating me. Not only can we temper and harden swords, we can do it to guns and gear too. We forge them all too. Sounds like you're a bit new around here. I'm only going to explain this once, so listen up. At the blacksmith, you can craft equipment, weapons, and gear, as well as enhance them. Let's enhance them. I almost said items. Your, for equipment crafting, you create new equipment with what you already possess. To do this, you'll need the following. The base equipment, the enhancement materials, some hammers, the cr and the crafting fee. For equipment enhancement, you strengthen your items by placing seals inside them. To do this, you'll need the following. The base equipment, the seals, and the enhancement fee. Make use of the blacksmith's talents and you'll be able to raise your skill levels. Enjoy an expanded range of craftable equipment and pay lower fees. Check your notebook for further details. You got all that? Good. By the way, if you're ever in need of raw materials, you can buy them from that guy over there. Go take a look. Oh, I forgot one more thing. It's important. We don't make enchanted swords of any type. Too risky. We don't want anyone to end up cursed by one of our blades. If you want an enchanted sword, there is someone in Kyo who makes them, but I don't know who. You're on your own if you want that guy. Whole thing makes me queasy. There is one thing we do to ward off bad luck though. We'll have you perform the last strike of the hammer. We call it Soulful Strike. It's sort of like infusing the equipment with your own soul. But it ain't easy. Even blacksmiths aren't great at it. So only try at your own risk. But other than the Soulful Strike, all the work on, our, on your stuff will be done by one of our smiths. They're very good. Why, look at this katana we forged. So sharp. Go ahead, give it a swish. Obtained handy blade. And the sphere seal attack. Well, that's all I got to say. It's been a pleasure. Crafting and enhancing weapons, huh? I'm sure I'll run into some skilled users while I track down the masked man. I should probably make good use of this place. Okay, once I'm done here, I'll head over to the Shinsengumi Barracks. What do we got? So we have crafting. Okay, so there's like a tree to it as well. Except I don't think I can make any of these. Cannot be cracked to occur. Oh, I can even choose the quality, huh? And that doesn't seem to change the resources necessary either. Can I make any of this? Oh, that doesn't even change the price. I can make this one, but I don't see how I can compare. I do not see how I would compare this stuff though, compared to what I have. Charge up the heat gauge 7% faster. Ooh, charges up the heat gauge 15% faster while drunk. Recovers health by 8% based on damage dealt to the enemy. Uh, 
Let's see. Sphere attack. Increase the tap by 2%. Raises the rank of a seal by 1. Can I make any more? Can I actually make any of this? Can't make that. Can't make that. Okay, I don't think there's really much I can make at the moment. I don't have a lot in the way of resources. I can even disassemble. We sell stuff for crafting and enhancing equipment. You can always find commonly used items here, although we don't exactly keep really valuable stuff in stock. Please take this. It'll help you remember where you were here. Obsidian chunk. Pearl. Precious steel. Exquisite cogwheel. Bronze hammer. We hope you honor us with your patronage. So if I actually need materials, I can buy them here. Okay. So there is a crafting system. There's no one else to talk to. Wait, what is that? Oh, is this the taxi service? That looks like the taxi service. Okay, might not be getting a lot done this episode. No, I will check out this dojo. Excuse me, Samurai-san. Hmm? You... Have you seen Ibisu-sama around here? What? Ibisu-sama? Yes. I can't find the bastard anywhere. You're asking if I've seen Ibisu, the patron deity of wealth and fishermen, here in Rakunai. Yeah. Don't be smart. I'm obviously not talking about a god. I mean, the con man, Dark Ibisu. There's a con man around here? You haven't heard of him? He's been on a tear lately, mostly targeting seniors. Sorry, news to me. Yeah. Yes, well, Dark Ibisu also goes around dressed like one of the seven lucky gods, hence the name. Folks seem to eat it up. Just today, he scammed 30 Ryu off some old man who wanted his blessing. That's low. I have to catch him before he takes advantage of anyone else. Thing is, he's cautious. He knows how to make himself scarce when there are doshin around. I see. So that's why you're asking citizens for information. Exactly. Do the city a favor and keep an eye out. Let's know immediately if you spot him. A con artist exploiting the elderly by dressing as the god of Bisu? What scum. There's a lot of foot traffic around Shijo Street. Maybe someone has seen him there. Deceitful deity. So somewhere around here then, huh? But since I'm here, let's check out this dojo. Oi, look at that. Fancy sword you got there. <laughs> Pricey ones are usually shit in a fight. But that looks like it might be sharp. Yeah, asshole, we're talking about you. How about you hand over that katana before I give you mine? Straight to the gut, that is. 
dying on an empty street, pissing your fendoshis. Oh, no way to end your life, is it? You three are almost too tiresome to be worth dealing with. Enough of the bra braggadocio. You wouldn't want to get hurt. Huh? Who are you? He's gonna get dead, buddy. Not just hurt. No, I meant you, not him. Huh? If you boys want to play with your swords, do it elsewhere. The side of you is dirty in my dojo's fine exterior. Dojo? Wait, does that mean you run this place? Swordsman Ginryu? Indeed, I am Ginryu. And you won't get another word from me unless you're willing to lay down your life in combat. Oi, this guy's bad news, I heard. Shit. We'll leave. But you. I won't forget your face, pal. <laughs> <laughs> and so the wind carries off our rubbish. And to think those Ronin will not even spare me some gratitude by for saving their lives today. Who are you? You must have heard. My name is Ginryu. I offer instruction in the art of swordsmanship here. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. By the by, you're no ordinary samurai, are you? <laughs> Whispers have found my ears recently, telling me of a man who's been ridding our city of rogues with ease and aplomb. What most piques my curiosity, however, is what sort of blade a man like that must wear. Rumors get around. Yet nothing is more valuable than information. Only troubles away to the man who does not listen to what he hears these days. Those Ronin seem to have heard of you. I guess you're skilled enough for a word to spread too. Not at all. I'm still an amateur. Every day I learn much more from the from my students. I ascribe to but one philosophy. Myself. I believe that fighting should be beautiful. Physically and mentally. Beautiful, huh? That seems like a difficult luxury to afford in combat. An understandable perspective from a man of your talent. However, can you deny the inherent artistry that exists in a blade? Perhaps you might grace us with your presence at the dojo. It never hurts to freshen one's training, does it? Hmm. Beauty in a fight. The artistry of swords. Maybe I should stop by a school once in a while. Which we're gonna do right now, Ryoma. I had an inkling you would come today. Like you said, brushing up one's skills can't hurt. I'm interested in what you teach here. And I am also interested in viewing your ability for myself. My students will also find this quite edifying, I'm sure. Allow me to first ask, what style of fighting do you favor, personally? I mostly rely on my sword, but I have a sidearm too. When the situation calls for it, I sometimes use both at once. Oh my, I am most curious to see what that must look like. Forgive my hastiness. But would you mind sparing with some of my sparring with some of my apprentices? There would be no better way to inspect their form. If you would engage them using only your sword to begin with, then I signal you incorporate your fi when I signal you incorporate your firearm as well. Sure, no problem. Everyone, step back and ready yourselves. Yes, master. Please, sir, hold nothing back. Now, have at them. So do I just beat them up on this one? Hold and release R2. The moment this attack lands, use left stick and square to strike another target. Each attack consumes heat. Yeah. 
Press cross and triangle to deliver an attack while evading. No. Press up to switch to Wild Dancer. Hold R2 to shoot and slash while spinning around. This will consume your heat. Press L1 just before an enemy attacks. Connects a parry it. Oh. I panicked and button mash on that one. Ah, damn it. Come on. Nope, it has to be time. What? Damn. The timing is... Oh, come on. Like, I can't die from this, can I? Just in case. I might as well top off. I'll get more on the store. Ugh. Damn it. Oh, come on. There we go. I thought I got you. Beautiful. Absolutely, utterly beautiful. Splendid skill. Morning Mist has been unlocked. You can learn it by inserting a soul orb into the corresponding slot in the abilities menu. Splendid skill. Ghostly Wind has been unlocked. You can learn it by inserting a soul orb. Yeesh. That hurt. Thank you very much, sir. A supremely enlightening pain. You guys are pretty good. I can tell your train has been beneficial. They are quite diligent, though they're still coarse in places. Each one shows tremendous promise. And yet, our strength is even more impressive than I had imagined. Your technique is studied, technique is studied, though it lacks elegance. I welcome you to train here further, whenever you care to. With time, you may come to embody my vision of a truly beautiful sword. Mm. You have a different way of looking at battle than I have seen before. I think you're onto something, though. Swordsmanship can be beautiful. It's not a bad idea to practice with that in mind. Indeed, the rigors of combat may have worn on our on your technique, but your fundamentals are un, are unimpeachable. If you continue to train here, I guarantee your swordplay will gain an impeccable grace. That sounds nice, but a place in a dojo doesn't come cheap. <laughs> Consider this an exception to that rule. I ask not for coin from my students. Rather, I have a fondness for rare swords. A Liyu of payment. I would like you to bring me un a unique katana. After all, rarities are often the most beautiful of their kind. Minding uncommon swords for you might end up costing me more in the long <laughs> run. <laughs> Worry not. 
You may keep the blades for your own use. I merely wish to admire them once. Come equipped with a fine grade sword. At the Ginryu Dojo, you can learn splendid skills by bringing in rare swords. These swords cannot be take won't be taken away from you. Simply equip a blade to the specified gray of the specified grade and speak to Ginryu. All right, I'll come back when I have something rare. I'll be waiting with breathless anticipation for you. I don't think I really have that, though. Do I? No. But, I think with that, I'm going to go ahead and just end the episode. I know we didn't do much this episode, but I promise we'll do a little bit more next time. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.